Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning to calculate the financial indicators in order to analyze the financial statements for the business. Now, we will be using the same example of uh, such Deva Corporation wherein we had bill, income statement, balance sheet and cash flows. So, what I have done in this particular sheet is above, since we have already calculated income statement, and we have balance sheet for this particular company we have to calculate various financial indicators which i have grouped into various categories i have valuation ratios then profitability ratios growth rates are there liquidity ratios operating efficiency ratios leverage ratios and then we have coverage ratios so we need to calculate all these indicators to analyze the business of this particular company for uh, these parameters so uh, it's better to always to have these financial indicators just below the income statement and balance sheet where we have calculated those because in that particular case it is easy to uh, give the cell reference. So we'll begin with calculating the valuation ratios. For this first we have EPS that is the earning per share for the year 2015. So earning per share is calculated by the net income divided by the average number of shares outstanding. So in B66 we have equal to either you directly write that is you can use B20 if you remember where the cell uh, net income is there. So divided by B62 and enter. So it will give you value of this EPS. So if you look at this particular value B20 and B62, you have these every number of shares and B20 it has net income. So we will be using these particular references only. So next we need to calculating dividend per share. So dividend per share is calculated by dividend divided by average number of shares outstanding. So we will be using the cell reference. So dividend it is given in cell B22. So divided by average number of shares. So which is. B62 and enter. Now we need to calculate PE ratio. PE ratio is given by stock prices divided by EPS. So it's B61 divided by B66. We have calculated EPS. So enter. Now we need to calculate PB ratio. So PB ratio will be calculated by stock price divided by total shareholders, equity shareholders multiplied by average number of shares. So to do this we have equal to again then stock prices we have B61 divided by total shareholders equity then multiply by average number of shares and enter. Next we need to calculate dividend payout ratio. So dividend payout ratio is calculated by dividend divided by the net income. So uh, it's equal to dividend is given in cell B22 and then we have net income divided by B20 and enter. So dividend payout ratio is 18%. So for all the other years to calculate valuation ratios, we will drag these all the formulas and it will be calculated directly. Now we will be calculating profitability ratios. Now for profitability ratios I have taken two important ratios over here that is return on equity. To calculate return on equity we need to calculate this by net income divided by total shareholder equity for 
प्रीवियस ईयर दैट इज 2015 फिफ्टीन प्लस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू दैट इज एवरेज वी नीड टू टेक सो वी कैन नॉट कैलकुलेट फॉर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सो वील बी कैलकुलेटिंग दिस फॉर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन ईयर रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू सो नेट इनकम इज गिवेन इन सेल सी ट्वेंटी देन डिवाइडेड बाय then we will be for using brackets since we need to calculate average so i have taken two brackets b fifty five plus c fifty five bracket close divided by two and again then we will be parenthesis close so if you remember the uh, excel uses pamdas rule to calculate so we need to uh, specifically use the parenthesis over here and end up so, so it, it will be 45.9% now we need to calculate uh, return on sales now return on sales we can directly calculate for year 2015 as well so it is calculated by ebit divided by sales so equal to ebit is given in cell uh, b13 so b13 divided by sales which is your b6 and enter so drag this for other years like this now to calculate different growth rates we have first is the eps growth rate so since it is growth rate we are talking about we require previous year data as well so we cannot calculate for the year 2015 we need to calculate for year 2016 so for this first one is uh, eps growth rate so eps divided by eps of the previous year we will be using minus 1 for this now so carefully we will be doing this so equal to we have c 66 we have already calculated eps divided by we have for the previous year b66 minus 1 and enter now to calculate dividend growth rate again since we have calculated this dividend uh, for this company so equal to c67 min divided by previous year that is your b67 and minus 1 and enter <clears throat> now we need to calculate sales growth rate sales growth rate uh, equal to we have sales in c6 divided by b6 and minus 1 enter now we need to calculate ebit growth rate so ebit growth rate again equal to b 13 divided by b 13 minus 1 and enter now net income growth rate equal to net income growth rate is given in c20 divided by b20 minus 1 and enter similarly we can calculate for the other years by dragging so we'll get the growth rate for all the other years now let us calculate the liquidity ratios for liquidity ratios two important ratios have been taken current ratio and quick ratio so we can calculate this for 2015 as well because we uh, do not require previous year data for this to calculate current ratio we have equal to b30 one current assets then divided by b46 the total current liabilities and enter now to calculate quick ratio 
equal to bracket we have b 27 then plus b 28 that is your accounts receivable parenthesis close divided by b forty six your current liabilities so your quick ratio is calculated by cash plus account receivables divided by current liability is this in this particular income statement uh, so for the other years we can drag again and we can get the liquidity ratios so next is to calculate the operating efficiency ratios so two important ratios inventory turnover ratios and receivable turnover ratio has been taken over here so to do this uh, we have again we do not require the previous year data so 2015 will be calculating equal to inventory turnover ratio is calculated by cost of goods sold divided by your inventory so equal to cost of goods sold is given in b7 divided by inventory inventories are given in b29 and enter now to calculate receivable turnover ratio it is given by sales divided by accounts receivable so again we will be calculating equal to sales for 2015 is given in b6 divided by accounts receivable we need to refer balance sheet for this so it is given in b28 and enter now for other years i will drag again and we will get the values so leverage ratios is the next to calculate leverage ratios the first one is the total debt to total capitalization so to calculate this uh, total debt to total capitalization we will be using the formula so different formulas are there to calculate this so the we will be using which is suitable for our income statement and balance sheet so equal to bracket we have short term debt which is the b44 then plus long term debt b48 parenthesis close divided by again bracket b44 plus b48 then again plus and then we have b55 total shareholders equity fund and parenthesis close enter so we will get total debt to total capitalization similarly we need to calculate long term debt to total capitalization so equal to total debt long term debt is given in b48 so this divided by parenthesis b total capitalization total capitalization calculated by short term debt plus long term debt plus the total shareholders equity which is b55 parenthesis close and enter now to calculate total debt to equity total debt to equity is calculated by debt upon equity so we have equal to so parenthesis debt is given in b44 which is the short term debt plus long term debt we require that is the b48 parenthesis close divided by equity which is the b55 and enter now with this we can again to for the other years what we can do we can drag for, for the other years the formula will be copied directly next we need to calculate the coverage ratios the two important ratios for coverage ratio which are taken over here is the times interest earned and the cash coverage ratio now times interest earned is calculated by equal to 
EBIT divided by interest expenses which is given in your B60 and enter. Now cash coverage ratio, cash coverage ratio we have equal to parenthesis we need to have EBIT plus depreciation parenthesis close divided by interest expenses which is given in B16 and enter. So this is the cash coverage ratio so we will be dragging for the other years. Now with this we now are able to uh, identify the different financial indicators. Different categories of financial indicators can be calculated using uh, the other uh, uh, say parameters over here and for the other companies we can calculate in the similar manner. I hope you will be able to calculate the financial ratios for the other companies as well. Thank you.